Hello indie game fans, things are really heating up in August with a month chock full of awesome games, so let's begin with Skeef, an all-action first-person shooter that has fancy modern graphics while still retaining the intense action that makes this genre great, where I'm particularly interested in the drop-in and out online co-op component. A very special shoutout goes to Giga Bash, a 3D arena brawler that features kaiju fighting each other and destroying cities, looking very much inspired by War of the Monsters, and comes to us from Malaysian developer Passion Republic Games, so Southeast Asia represent. I love kaiju fiction, so I'm always down for giant monsters beating each other up. When there are 10 varied characters to choose from, multiple modes including 2v2 team battle, free for all, and most importantly, single player story campaign, so there's something for everyone. I adore the art of Lost in Play, a very classically designed point and click adventure game where I hope that this manages to find its audience since selfishly, I want this developer to be able to continue making games. I believe the stylish, Souls-like action title Thymesia was supposed to launch in December last year but got delayed a good 8 months or so, so I'm cautiously optimistic on this. The plague weapons and Culver's protagonist looks awesome, as is the grim dark world that we have come to expect from Souls adjacent games, but some of you have tried the demo and commented that combat did not feel great, so definitely approach with caution. Now I'm very excited for this next game in Blossom Tales 2 The Minotaur Prince, the sequel to a Zelda style game from 2017, where this sequel looks to be bigger and better. This is set hundreds of years after the original, but no prior knowledge is needed, where Hurin has to defeat the titular Minotaur King in order to save her brother. The pixel art is clean and on point, with awesome combat, puzzles and exploration, making this an easy pick for the month. If you love They Are Billions, listen up. Ox is a survival city and deck builder title where you're expanding out your castle and control of the realm while fending off the greenskin hordes, and when I say hordes, I mean it, with these enemies numbering in the thousands which looks very impressive. This reminds me of games like the aforementioned They Are Billions, as well as Kingdom and Retropolis, looking very promising. One of the hardest left turns that I've seen from developers is Father's Frontier. Since developer Creed Entertainment is best known for Grim Dawn, yes, the creators of a Diablo-like action RPG have pivoted their attention to a medieval city builder, but because of the pedigree, I'm very curious about this. As is typical of medieval times, the world is harsh and brutal, where everything from diseases to radius will challenge the survival of your settlement, with plenty of resources to gather and grow, including food, fish, water, stone, clay, and plenty of crafting and refinement as well. Roguelite Mania continues with Backpack Hero, but wait, don't run away just yet since this game is something different, being an inventory management roguelite RPG which is quite a fresh idea. You are picking up and organizing loot in your backpack, inventory Tetris style, where depending on its location, does increase the power of the items and your ability to fight off enemies. This has demoed extremely well, so I'm looking forward to the early access release. I am so very excited for Midnight Fight Express, which did get a release during the summer showcases and is releasing very soon. It is a 3D beat-em-up title that allows you to live out your John Wick fantasies with brutal and varied combat where you play as a former criminal drawn back into action by a drone where you have until dawn to stop criminals from taking over the city. There are certainly vibes of Hotline Miami in this game with combat including guns, melee weapons, unarmed combat, vehicles and even environmental interactions like smashing opponents through glass or sinks in toilets, coming to us from a solo developer which is very impressive. 
The highly anticipated, awesome-looking Cult of the Lamb releases next month with exciting combat and plenty of meta progression. And for the best top-down roguelites as of today, watch this video and I will see you after the jump.